So I just arrived at my local hardware store, which um, is called Bunnings. This is where I found uh, my particular wood, the, the wood that I'll be using for my mantle. And um, for example, I came to this section here, excuse me, and um, this is the wood that I'm going to be using. Now, as you can see, there's, I guess, $7.64 each, and these are $4.67 each. Now, these are really cool because they come pre-cut. Obviously, you need to paint them if that's what you want to do. I'll leave this here, so. They're light, they're not too heavy at all. And um, they're, they're a really, really good size, perfect size for, I guess, the fireplace mantle that I want to make. So if you wanted to, um, you can actually come to, I guess, this section, which is the skirting board section, and I'll give you a closer look. And some already come ready to go, like they're already pre-painted and there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. All you would need to do is, I guess, cut it yourself or take it um, to the section within the local hardware store that actually cut. Um, them to size for you now because I Randomly popped in here. I don't have any details on me in terms of measurements, but these Are the ones that I chose and they seem to be perfect for my project of my mantle and what I need so I'm gonna buy six and Four are the same size and these two are a little bit larger and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with these so I have the four elements I need to make my mantle and so we have a drill, we have all sorts of screws, we have paint, spray paint and we have the wood. So my husband um, did this one quickly for me. So it's got one screw up here and it's got another screw at the bottom and essentially it'll be like that with the other wood panel at the back and I'll show you how I progress as I keep putting this all together. Okay so what you want to make sure is that you're using the right uh, screw, the right drill head and that you've pre-measured your uh, wood. So as you can see I've already put a little dot there because I've pre-measured it. Okay so here we go. So essentially what you do, you raise you lift this uh, plank of wood, put this one on top, so there's the dot. So we need to repeat this step another three times. We're currently making the legs for your mantle, so we need to make sure that it's nice and strong to hold your shelf. Okay, so this is pretty much a preview of what my mantle is going to look like. Um, I need to obviously finish it. Now, this is the last piece I need to add. Um, it's just this last piece of wood. Now, this last piece of wood is going to be going right there. Oh, actually, sorry. It's going to be going inside right there. And I still need to screw it in with the, um, with the little screw. So, um, okay, let's see how we go. Okay, so what you want to do now is make a little point, a little dot and find out where you actually want to want these connected and that way you get the look you want. Now they're connected, which is awesome. Okay, so now that these two have been screwed in, as you can see, now we can put the last plate of wood on. So essentially it'll be connected here. So I still need to measure it. Connect it there. And connect it there. I'm gonna screw this one in. Okay, so I thought I'd show you what it looks like and in terms of height as well. Um, it's pretty tall, which is awesome. And I'm 161, so I'm not that high. Um, but for me, it's perfect because I get to hang my stockings and I'll put some decorations and maybe some lights as well. So, um, okay, now I have to paint it. Okay, so I'm outside now and I'm gonna try and spray this as fast as I can before it starts raining.
Okay, so I finished spray painting it and I'm really, really happy with the uh, end result. And I wanted it to look a little bit rustic, so I'm really happy that um, it has these little, um, oops, I don't know if you can see it, little parts that um, I didn't spray paint. And I didn't really go over it a lot because I wanted it to look a little bit like a, um, yeah, a little bit rustic. And um, so now I'm gonna go and uh, decorate it. Okay, so because this is not gonna be a permanent structure and I'll be pretty much packing it up after Christmas, I'll be using these plastic hooks that you stick on the wall and they come off really easy. And, um, and I'll also be using some fishing wire. I'm gonna put it around here. It's gonna hold this whole structure in place. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick this one here. And you've got to make sure that you press it against the wall so that it doesn't come off. So I'll just press this for about a minute. So you want to wrap it around there and kind of make a little loop. And now you can push the mantle back and I'll make a knot. And essentially, I won't be putting anything heavy on this, it's just to decorate. So once that's done, you just cut it and you're done. And you do the other side as well. Okay, so I'm about to um, start decorating the mantle. Um, now, you can obviously decorate it as you wish. This is just an example and I'll probably change it anyway later on towards Christmas.